Our big story this morning, the city of Phoenix and its police department are presenting an action plan in response to public outcry over that viral video, raising questions over excessive use of force. Team 12's Jen Wall is live outside police headquarters with the unfolding facts after a marathon meeting at City Hall. Good morning, Jen. That's right. Good morning to you both. That meeting, like others we've seen in the past, lasting several hours, a lot of people showed up. They had a lot to say, backed with a lot of emotion. In the Phoenix meeting, there were two main takeaways, a push for an early intervention system for bad officers and instituting a committee review board. Police Chief Jerry Williams laying out an action plan, parts of it calling for technological advances. Those advances, including a program tracking how often officers draw their weapons, and the race and ethnicity of the people officers draw their weapons on. Chief Williams also proposing an updated, more advanced early intervention system that has the community and city council split this morning. What we want to do with this early intervention system is really find ways to track behavior and make sure that if red flags or yellow flags pop up on employees, that we're able to take action. And the Ames Harper family at the center of that viral encounter expected to hold a news conference today, this morning outside of Phoenix City Council. Stay with 12 News with the very latest as we continue to follow this story. You know we will be there for that. For now, we're live in Phoenix. Jen Wall, Today in AZ.